time with up to 900 people, a little bit above that in its height in 1926. And out of the 80 homes of that time, there are about 40 left still standing. Culture Eaters, how are you? I'm actually going on a small vacation. Holding the camera is Melanie and we are off for a week. We are going to the region of Lac Saint-Jean, which is six hours north of Montreal. So we're going out into the boreal forest. We're gonna see fjords, all kinds of really interesting things. So make sure to tag along with us and watch till the end. As you can see, I'm only filming a little bit of our road trip up today because it's rain, rain, rain. But it says here to watch out for moose. We walk up the stairs. This is the beautiful view that we have from the mezzanine where we will be spending the night. And even got a little door to the back. Cheers to our holiday. Woo! Um, so this is the beginning of our uh, first full day in Lac Saint-Jean. We're doing half the lake, the uh, southern part. As you can see, we're going to have quite a bit of rain today. We knew it was going to happen, so you know, deal with it. We are off to visit Val Jalbert, a living museum. We'll learn all about the many exodus of the city to try and make money up north. So I'll give you a little bit of a resume and I got behind here. I believe this was part of the uh, area where they would press the pulp, but we just saw an interactive video of the history of the place. Just briefly, the village of Val Jalbert started in 1901 and shut down in 1927. It was owned by the company, so everybody that lived here lived in homes owned by the company. Eventually, when the owner sold, well, the place shut down completely. So this is a way to commemorate the history of this place. Witichuan, what's it called? Witichuan, I think. It means the white bubbles that float uh, on tormented water. So that's what the, the Native American name of the fall is. Now, right now I'm uh, doing a walk through a house that we can visit. And you see, we look a little bit into the kitchen. There's a small living room coming in, walking up, bedrooms turned around, went back another set of stairs. This was actually two like ta attached houses. Every house would have had about 12 people in it. So all of these little houses were actually lived in by about 25 people and that was the norm. This is what they look like now, the remaining ones. There were 80 at the time with up to 900 people, a little bit above that in its height in 1926. And out of the 80 homes of that time, there are about 40 left still standing. Here we have the general store. Miss Sanchez, where have you been? You're late again. What is your excuse? <laughs> now we just saw the classroom. Let's go visit where the nuns lived, which is obviously upstairs. This would have been the dining hall, but what's really funny is that this carpet, we have the exact same one at the cottage in the living room. And where the nuns slept. So this was actually a village that was very advanced and they were actually rich because the families made about $18 a week 
so about 80 something like that 75 a month but their rent electricity water was about ten dollars so that was like you know only 50 percent of their salary so if you come to finally we are actually by the lake gray over there and slowly clearing up all the way down here. This is the Lac Saint-Jean. Tonight we are camping in Domaine des Trois Îles, Three Island Domain. We have to cross first this little bridge, but have you ever seen this kind of place to go pick up your keys for your container? We're sleeping in a container. This is our glamping for tonight. We're staying in a container and this is our view, literally, right across when we look out. This is our view. Amazing. Welcome to our humble abode. We have a very small room but with queen bunk beds. So we each our own have our own bed and their queen. There's a little closet area right here very rustic looking but really complete there's a dining table here we have a futon couch over here tv there's even a small kitchen with all the basics a sink and a bathroom with an actual shower so not bad for a container again still raining but this is the view from our window Oh, okay. If you enjoy me sacrificing myself, spending the day outside in the rain, looking like a complete mess, you better hit that like button, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos to come.